Howdy folks, you want to learn how to build this tiered planter? Well, I'm going to show you how coming up. Alright everybody, so today we're going to be making this little planter. The first thing you'll need to do is print out the cut list and go ahead and cut out all your pieces, have them in a nice neat little stack and have them ready to put together. There will be a few cuts that are a little more complex than just a straight cross cut so I'm going to show you how to do those real quick and then we'll start assembling okay so the first two cuts will be on your 33 inch 2 by 12 and all you're going to do is cut it in half and this for me mine's exactly 11 inches yours may be 11 and a quarter or it may be 11 and a half so mine's 11 that's going to be five and a half inches so what I did is marked it five and a half five and a half then I take a uh, level across it, line up your two marks, and mark it. And then you're going to rip it. That's the first one. The second one, what I like, what I did was kept it my three, 30, 33 inch piece here. And then you'll have some 12 inch pieces. So you can mark those. And go ahead and put your mark on him like so bam I'm gonna cut him and then you're gonna take from each end mark three inches three inches and now like I say that for yours the inside here, mine is actually five and an eighth inches. Yours may be five and a quarter, may even be five and a half, but just three inches from either side. Then you're gonna take your level, line it up with one of your marks to the top corner, like so. Put your mark. You're gonna do the same on this side. Put your mark. And then once you cut it out, It'll look something like that. And that's for the sides, the tapered sides of our two side planters. So when you want to uh, rip a board, if you're not doing it on a table saw, if you're doing it with a skill saw, you know, you could set your depth to one and a half inches and maybe cut through it. You know, if you get up a little bit, it may not cut all the way through it. So what I like to do, if you see here, I got a couple of pieces of four by four under here. And that way I don't have to reset my saw. I can just rip it and these are just trash wood. So if I cut through them, you know, if I cut into them, it's no big deal. So like so, now we got two pieces the same size. And as you see, I cut through it, but I don't care because this is like I say, just trash wood. So next we're gonna go to uh, assembling. So normally I screw everything, but today I'm kind of feeling froggy, so we're gonna nail it. I'm using some three inch galvanized ring shank, 21 degrees nails, and then I'll be using some two and three eighths galvanized ring shank nails. So we're gonna start with the main little tower. And all you're gonna do, you've got your 23s and your 20s. The way it works is your uh, 23s, but on top of your 20s. See here, this is your 20, this is 23. It goes on top instead of the 23 button in, it butts on top on the end there, like so. We'll nail him together and we'll just go around with it. All right, one thing you'll notice as I was nailing, I would get it straight, you know, get it where I want it, and you know, like this, and then I'd back that hand away. And the reason is, you never know what one of these dudes is gonna do. If you hit a knot, a bad knot or something, it could shoot up and catch in the hand. But anyways, so that's what we did. We're gonna build one more just like this. Now we're gonna move 
to our dog eared fence boards that we cut at 30 inches. And all you're gonna do is line him up on the edge like so and on the bottom. And we're gonna go around and if you were say a quarter inch off, we're gonna say not here because we're starting here, but on this end if we're half inch off, quarter inch off, it's no big deal because we're gonna run a piece of trim in a minute. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I switched my gun to two and three eighths ring shanks. One thing you may wanna do is just throw your speed square on there so that you know you're starting straight. And now we're just gonna go all the way around. As you can see, I left these last two off and you'll see why in a minute. What we're gonna do now, turn this dude up like so and put our other uh, band in the middle there. All I'm doing here is just making sure uh, fairly lined up all the way around. We'll nail it off. So now that we've got him nailed off, we're going to take, take our 4x4. We're going to stand him up in here just like so. We'll run a few 3 inch nails through here to hold him into place. See there, misfire. So there's that, now we'll put these two boards on here once I pull that nail out. All right, now that we've got all of our trim pieces cut, we'll install those. And I'm back to the two and three eighths here. That's that. Now I'm gonna take my hammer. Just make sure none of these nails are sharp. You know, I'm just gonna roll them over. All right. Now we'll install our corner trim. And it doesn't matter uh, which side overlaps which. I just like to make sure I do the same on each side so if this one goes to the edge and this one overlaps here then i want to make sure this one goes to the edge and this one will overlap here just for aesthetics all right so that's that now we're going to go ahead and finish out our top decoration so you're going to take your 2x12 that you cut down to 8x8 eight eight and center it up on your post. You're going to put a few nails in it. So we're just going to take our little two by two pieces and wrap them around each of these at, at equal spacing. And I went five and a half, 11, and 16 would be 15 and a half. But all I'm gonna do is just draw me a line. All the way around. And that'll be where we put our pieces. It'll go here and here and we'll wrap around. So I'm gonna do that.
Now that we've finished those, we're gonna take our skill saw and just dress this top up a little bit because uh, I don't really like the square look. So we're gonna take our saw, set it to 45, and all we're gonna do is run down each corner to put a, you know, 45 on the edges. So now that we've got this guy cut off, we've got our decorative bands around here, we're gonna take our 23 inch deck boards and slide them in and we'll nail them from underneath. We'll flip it on its side, nail those to that two by four and then this gentleman here is complete. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so we got our 17 and a half inch deck board. We run our two by four across down there. That gives us a nice surface to fill, plant our flowers. So let's move on to our two side planters. I like to actually build them upside down because here's your side pieces. You can stand them up like so. Like that right there, get him flush, and then just nail him off. Gotta have nails. Try that again. Now you just nail him off. And you'll do the same with this side. And you'll put the other side on. So I'm gonna go ahead and build these real quick. And you're gonna take one of your 33 inch rips. That's gonna fit right in the bottom there. You just drop them in through the top. Boom. Push them down, throw your couple nails in there. And just like that your little side planter's done. So I'm gonna move him over there and I'm gonna build the other one. All right, there's our second one now. All that's left to attach them. So let's go over there. So now all we have left to do, slide your planter up to it on either side. If you're building this, this may would be the one point that you would want to screw, only because you may have to take it apart. So I'm actually not gonna nail it because I know it's getting taken apart because I have to move it. But just like that, you build yourself a little planner. Well, I'm Brady. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and keep up with my videos coming. I hope to have more in the near future. And until next time, keep making dust.